peanut special. Oh my gosh. Okay, you probably can't see this. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is just a box of packing peanuts. Oh man, how am I gonna do this? Oh wait, there is something in here. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do this without. <laughs> shit, shit. What do we have here? It's a weird silver Gibson case. Huh. Well, I got packing peanut dust all over me. And I'm sure I'm not done. Make sure I know the code. Well, this case has seen better days, but hopefully that means it has just done its job. It has a case shroud. Oh man. They You know what, they pack this thing pretty well. Like really well. I mean, it's really well braced in here. The only thing I don't really agree with is I would usually rather see a guitar shipped in tune, but some people prefer to do it without neck tension. But I think with how well it's packed, not really going to be a problem. Oh my god. Wow, hold on. Wow. Okay, to make this go a lot quicker. Whoa. Bump. Does this have any case candy? Well, it has what? Well, that's weird. It has a spare switch tip, the Allen key, and a strap, so not nothing. Oh shit. I'm not used to having a case shroud at all.
Yeah. Huh. They dated it correctly. It does have some grime. But honestly, nothing that can't be cleaned off. Hmm. So I would say this is in very good condition. it works. Huh. Okay. Bear in mind this did just ship in 100 degree weather. Okay, well, it tunes on both pickups at least. How does it sound? And how loud is this gonna be? which looks correct. This thing's got good neck on it. I think this is supposed to be a 59 neck, but I would always prefer a 50s neck to a 60s neck. I mean, this thing just...
I probably should explain that this is a very weird Les Paul model that I've never heard of until just recently. And when I saw this model, I was instantly, I instantly liked it because it has no inlays. And I am not into inlays. Yeah, this, it has never had the pickguard off, clearly. So Gibson Les Paul Platinum, without going into too much detail, because I will do a full review video. This was a 2003 to 2005-ish model, which is basically a Les Paul Studio with an ebony fretboard with no inlays, which that to me is the selling point. That's why I was willing to pay a premium for this over another studio, for instance. As you can see, they color coordinated it. So this one is, the color I think is called platinum, but they also have them in red and black and such. But they'll still have like the silver truss cover and the silver appointments. But this one I think looks the best where it's all sort of monochromatic. Gives it a really cool look. On this particular one, the bridge pickup is unknown. I think this would have come originally with a 490R, 490T. A 490T would be probably too weak for me, so I would have changed it anyway. I suspect that's what the original owner did with this. I just don't know exactly what he changed it to. I'm guessing something that's a little bit hotter, but as you just heard, not something drastic. So it seems like a balanced set, whatever it is. I am gonna have to give this guitar a full-on cleanup and probably put some new strings on, oil the fretboard and get this thing going because it works. It looks great. The action is actually good. That's something that always gets me about Gibsons is that especially ones with a bigger neck like this, it's probably hard to come across on camera how thick the neck is. I'm waiting for some comments on this video now that I said that, but they never seem to really need too much adjustment and t there's a reason why but I won't get into that in this video but yeah really this was described in very good condition and I would probably have to agree usually I would say it's just safe to call something good condition so I don't even know why they would say very good but I would have to say this is in very good condition especially this one being a 2005 so what I'm probably gonna do right now is get this guitar in the other room, clean it up, change the strings, oil the fretboard, and play it. And then I will have to give my full review and demo in the near future because this thing is just... I, I have to be honest, I pretty much bought this just for the look of it, just for the style of it, and I thought, this is such a cool looking guitar that even if I had to sell something else after the fact to afford it, I would be willing to probably do it if it was as described, which I think it is. And I don't necessarily think I'm gonna sell anything, but this is very, very cool. It's got a good weight to it. I don't know if this had necessarily weight relief. I would guess it has nine hole, but I'm not entirely sure. But this is a chunky, chunky Les Paul as far as weight and heft, which I like. Again, I just, God, I love that blank fretboard look. That was why I was getting into those Chapmans for a while, partly because they had a mostly blank fretboard with a 12th fret inlay. This just with nothing is just such a cool look. But yeah, I gotta get some dust off of this. Gotta get some new strings on it and get this thing going because it's just really cool looking. I gotta get this thing played. Sorry I haven't really talked much in this video. I'm just kinda looking at this thing. I mean, when I, when I first discovered this on listings, I was like, wow, I've never seen anything like that. And that's what I'm thinking again now as I'm looking at it. It's just very, very cool. So without further ado, I'm gonna go play it. So see you guys next time.